We've all been there. That moment when you're sitting with your partner, maybe watching a movie or having dinner, and then it hits you. That familiar rumble in your stomach that signals an impending gaseous explosion. What do you do? Do you bravely let it out and hope for the best? Or do you hold it in, grimacing through the pain and fear of breaking the delicate boundary of acceptable behavior in front of your significant other? For me, the fart dilemma wasn't just a passing thought. It became a true test of our relationship. It all started a few years ago, back when my partner, Max, and I were just getting comfortable in our relationship. We'd been dating for about six months, that blissful early stage where everything still feels fresh and exciting, and you're both trying to impress each other. By then, we had both started staying over at each other's places, cozying up during lazy Sunday afternoons and cooking dinner together. Things were perfect, or so I thought. But there was one issue I hadn't anticipated. I have digestive issues. No, not the kind that requires me to rush to the doctor, but the type that makes my body produce an alarming amount of gas when I eat certain foods. Bread? Gas. Cheese? Gas. Beans? Disaster. But how could I explain that to Max without completely ruining the image of my charming self? that I had so carefully cultivated. The truth was, I had been holding in my farts for months. It started innocently enough. On our first few dates, I was so focused on making a good impression that it wasn't even a question. I'd smile and excuse myself to the restroom whenever I felt the pressure building up. But as time went on, and our relationship grew more comfortable, the strain of maintaining a fart-free facade began to weigh heavily on me literally. One fateful evening, after a lovely homemade pasta dinner, with extra cheese, of course, we were snuggling on the couch, wrapped up in each other's arms. The lights were dimmed, and we were watching a romantic comedy. I should have been enjoying the moment, but instead, my stomach began to feel like a balloon being overinflated by a clown at a children's birthday party. I knew what was coming, and I knew it was going to be bad. As the tension built inside me, I tried every trick in the book to avoid the inevitable. I shifted slightly in my seat, hoping to rearrange the gas bubbles in my gut. I focused intently on the movie, hoping a good laugh would somehow distract my body. Nothing worked. I was a ticking time bomb, and Max had no idea. He leaned over, resting his head on my shoulder. You okay? You seem a little tense, he asked, noticing my rigid posture. I nodded quickly, trying to play it cool. But inside, I was panicking. And then it happened. A small, barely audible squeak escaped. I froze, hoping, praying, that Max hadn't noticed. What was that? He asked, lifting his head and looking at me with a puzzled expression. I could feel my face turning red, the embarrassment burning hotter than ever before. There was no point in denying it now. The truth was out and so was the fart. I, uh, I stammered, trying to find the words. I farted. Max stared at me for a moment, then burst out laughing. Not a chuckle, but full-on belly laughter. I sat there in shock, unsure how to react. Was this it? Was he laughing at me? Did he think I was disgusting? Between laughs, Max managed to get out. Oh my God, I thought something was wrong with you. Why didn't you just fart earlier? I stared at him, dumbfounded. I didn't want to gross you out. His laughter slowly subsided, and he shook his head. Come on, it's just a fart. Everyone does it. We've been together for six months, and you're still holding in your farts around me? I was still in disbelief. You mean you wouldn't mind if I just, you know, let it out? He smiled, leaning in to kiss my forehead. Of course not. It's natural. Besides, you do realize I've been farting around you the whole time, right? Now, that was a revelation. I blinked, trying to process the information. Max, the guy I thought was perfectly polite and composed, had been casually farting around me for months? How'd I not noticed? He grinned, clearly enjoying my confusion. Yep. I mean, I try not to do it right in front of your face or anything, but yeah, I let them rip. It's no big deal. We're human. I couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of it all. Here I was practically tying my intestines in a knot to avoid farting in front of him, while he'd been casually letting them slip the entire time. That night, 
marked a turning point in our relationship. It sounds silly, but being able to far around Max was a kind of freedom I hadn't expected. It wasn't just about the physical relief. It was about being comfortable, truly comfortable with each other. Once that barrier was broken, everything else felt easier. We laughed more, shared more, and the little quirks and habits we'd been hiding from each other started to come out. Of course, there were still some boundaries. We weren't running around trying to outfart each other or anything like that. Though, I'd be lying if I said we didn't have the occasional fart battle after a particularly bean-heavy dinner. But the point was, we were more relaxed. I stopped worrying about trying to be perfect all the time, and Max appreciated the honesty and vulnerability I showed him. But that doesn't mean it was always smooth sailing. One day, a few months later, we were at his parents' house for dinner. His mom had made an incredible meal, and I, of course, couldn't resist indulging in seconds. As we sat at the table, talking and laughing, I felt that familiar gurgle in my stomach. It wasn't an emergency, but it was definitely a warning sign. I shifted in my seat, trying to find a way to relieve the pressure discreetly. But Max must have noticed, because he leaned over and whispered, Are you okay? Need to you know? I shot him a panicked look. Not here. Not in front of your parents. He chuckled, trying to keep his voice down. Hey, it's normal. Just let it out. I couldn't believe he was being so casual about it. No way. Not happening. And so, once again, I found myself holding it in, praying that we'd be leaving soon so I could find some relief. But dinner dragged on, and so did the gas in my stomach. I barely touched dessert, too afraid that one wrong bite might send me over the edge. Finally, when we were getting ready to leave, I stood up from the table. And that's when it happened. In the process of standing, I let out a fart that was neither subtle nor quiet. It wasn't the worst fart in the world, but in the middle of Max's parents' dining room, it might as well have been an air horn. I froze, horrified. Max's mom raised an eyebrow, trying and failing. To hide her amusement. Max, on the other hand, couldn't stop laughing. I wanted to crawl into a hole and never come out. But then Max's dad, completely unfazed, just nodded and said, that's how you know the food was good. And just like that, the tension was gone. We all laughed, and I realized something important. Farts, for all their embarrassing potential, are just part of life. Everyone does it, and sometimes the best thing you can do is laugh about it. From that moment on, I stopped worrying so much about farting in front of Max, or anyone else for that matter. Our relationship grew stronger because we learned to be fully open and comfortable with each other, farts and all. So, do I fart in front of my partner? Absolutely. Why? Because it's natural, it's human, and it's a sign that we've reached a level of comfort and trust that's deeper than any polite facade. Plus, after all the farting we've been through, there's really nothing left to hide. In the end, I learned that the ability to fart in front of your partner is less about the act itself and more about what it represents, a relationship where you can truly be yourself without fear of judgment or embarrassment. And honestly, isn't that what love is all about?